Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike and in today's episode we're going to have a look at the very first photos I shot on film. Enjoy! Let's start from the top. For my first film I chose Ilford HP5. It is a black and white film stock with the ISO 400. And I chose this one because I thought shooting black and white might be easier than color for the first time. As far as the camera goes, I used my Canon AE1 with a 50mm 1.4 lens. And let me tell you, I really love this camera. Let's jump in. We finally arrived at the first shot. This one was taken in an old industrial building and I must say I'm pretty happy with it. I like the sharpness, I like the lights, the contrast and I'm surprised it's pretty much in focus. So yeah, very stoked. Strangely enough there was a group of dancers and I managed to capture them mid-filming and yeah. In my opinion this one is great as well. I love the contrast, I love the sharpness. The subject is kind of cool, I think, and yeah, happy with it. The only thing I do not like that much is that it's not symmetrical. Since it was my very first roll of film, I thought I'd have to try to test focus and I found some pretty light spot. This photo is more like a testing piece, not so much a photo I'd keep, but yeah. In this little hallway, the light was very harsh, so I tried to shoot pretty much against the sun. I think the dynamic range of this film is kind of impressive and I really dig this shot. Well, we arrived at the first mishap. I don't actually know what I tried to do, but I think I tried to focus on the second pillar. Somehow I messed that one up and yeah, the background is in focus. This was more an experiment than it is a shot. Again, I tried to see what the dynamic range is and I think it's pretty good. There is plenty of details in the shadow and there is also structure in the highlights and yeah, I'm impressed. I took this shot because I really liked the straight lines and the reflection in the windows and yeah, I like the overall tone of the image. There is plenty of detail in the shadows and in the highlights and I think this is one of the better ones. Another one that's more an experiment than I shot and in this one I tried to find out how much detail there is resolution wise. That's why I shot right into the trees. Again, the dynamic range is kind of impressive. The details are there. I never thought that film would have this high of resolution as it has. This shot is definitely one that I'm going to keep. It's my favorite one of the roll, I think. I like the subject, I like the framing. The lighting is great and I'm really happy with this one. Sadly, I didn't capture it, but right before I walked across this ice patch, I took a hefty fall and yeah, it hurt as hell. Next one. I like this one because there is details in the shadow, there is details in the highlights and I like the pattern of the stairs. Well, this one, yeah, it's my first big fail. I really like the image and how it turned out. I don't think it's particularly sharp or in focus, but as soon as I saw the dad and his kid walking and sledding down this path, I turned on my camera pointed it at them and took the shot. Sadly, I put the camera on self-timer and as I pressed the shutter button, nothing happened. I then was really confused, looked at the camera and as soon as I realized my mistake, I pointed the camera at the people, but it was too late. I heard the click and yeah, that's the result. I then decided to capture this one, but somehow the person was too fast and yeah, he ended up not in the middle of the frame. In this one I tried to shoot a very dark subject against a pretty dark background and yeah, it turned out mediocre. I don't know what it is, but I really appreciate winter time. The trees look amazing. I took this shot just for fun, there is plenty of detail and yeah, let's move on. Straight after the last one I tried to capture this one because I really liked the lighting. 
It's very dynamic, looks pretty good, and I like this shot. I then arrived at the end of a bridge and managed to capture this one. This one looks pretty nostalgic to me and that's why I like it. I think this one is pretty bad. There is no clear subject. There is way too much detail in the picture and it's not sharp. This shot is not great as well. I think I tried to shoot with a smaller aperture, but I think it's really not that spectacular. I like this one because it seems a little bit more nostalgic to me. This is closer to my hometown and I walked this road a million times and it's fun to see it in black and white. This shot is more of an experiment as well. I saw some Christmas decoration and I thought, let's do a close up. This one is especially cool because I love the grain. Yeah, not much to say about this shot, just a dude walking up the street and move on. This one is one of my favorites though. I don't know exactly why, but I love the reflections on the floor, the light in the upper part of the image, the highlights, and the darkness of the subject. I think I managed to frame it quite well. This is one of my favorite restaurants and I kind of took the shot just to see how it would look like, the reflections, the dynamics, and I kind of like it. I don't know, this one is not that special either. I think I could have framed it way better. Maybe cut out the left part of it, but yeah, it is what it is. As always, my buddy highly motivated to get his face into a photo. <laughs> I really like the contrast of this image. It looks kind of good, I think. This one is not that special either, but yeah, I don't know what I tried. As far as I remember, there was a pretty streak of light on the ground and I thought I'd give it a shot. I then came across these stairs. They looked kind of ominous, dark, and they turned out way more, I don't know, happier, I guess. Way more friendly <laughs> on film. I then took this shot of my body shooting against the sun. The snow falling down was a pretty lucky occurrence, but I really like it. I also dig this one. The tree in the middle has a perfect amount of contrast and the building on the left makes the image look a little bit darker. This is one of my favorites as well. I took this one on top of some stairs, looking over the city. The contrast is amazing, the light is pretty great and oh boy, I love the grain. That's just some stupid alleyway but I kind of like it. This one to me seems a little bit better. The reflections on the floor make it pop and yeah, it's a pretty, pretty road. Now coming back to the Christmas decorations, even though this shot has no clear subject, I kind of like how the overall image looks. To me, it feels very nostalgic. I thought I'd try to shoot the very white and blinding pillars against the dark alleyways behind and I'm surprised how much detail there is. This shot is one of my favorites as well. I really like the contrast, the darkness, the people standing out and it was the very last shot of the roll and I'm really happy with it. So that was the very first roll of film I ever shot and I have to say I managed to learn quite a bit. I think there are a few pretty photos in it as well as there are pretty bad ones but I'm here to learn so yeah stoked. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, maybe consider subscribing, leave a like and yeah, see you next time. Bye!